The organization behind Baylor's homecoming parade announced the event will, of course, look different this year, much different. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart talked to those organizers today. He joins us in the studio. Cameron, what changes are they looking at this year? Uh, Adam, the pressure is on when it comes to Baylor's homecoming parade. It's the oldest and largest homecoming parade in the world. This year, though, with all the restrictions we're learning to live with, it takes on a different kind of tradition, one more familiar with Cubs than with Bears. Shocker, we can't have a full-blown homecoming parade during a pandemic. The famous Baylor homecoming parade will not be marching through the streets of Waco next weekend, as it has done for the last 111 years due to COVID-19 concerns. Instead, the floats will look a little bit smaller. Kind of what our thought process was is how can we still have something tangible for students and faculty and really just the whole Waco community to do that still supports social distancing and this COVID era that we're in. And we said a Pinewood Derby. Yes, that kind of Pinewood Derby, the kind that thousands of Cub Scouts do around the country each year. Like the Scouts, student organizations wishing to participate must make a float with the supplies from the Pinewood Derby kit, a block of wood, wheels, axles, and their own imagination. Students can create a little seven inch by two inch car that they can still design and sculpt and mold and really show all their creativity and ideas that they might have. Parade chairperson Ashley Madden has gone to every homecoming parade since she was born. So she understands the importance of it to the community. The parade has a very special place in my heart and keeping its tradition was very important to me. And when we were informed that things were gonna look different and when the pandemic hit, um, it really was just a question of how can we preserve this as best as we can while also rolling with the punches and working with the situation that we've been given. What would normally take a year for the Baylor Chamber to plan has been thrown together as quickly as possible this year with all the uncertainty surrounding big events. I don't really think we had any hint of the boxcar idea until maybe a month ago, month and a half at most. It, this has all really come together a lot faster than it traditionally would have. They even see this new kind of parade potentially having a long shelf life. Uh, I actually like the uniqueness of it and the situation that we may be able to come up with a new event that will last for the next hundred years. The floats will be raced and will be judged off speed and style. That's next Friday, October 16th. And we'll tell you what organization gave Baylor a hand in putting together this makeshift tradition. That's coming up at 930. Live in the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.